In this unit, we're considering sacred plants. Plants that have religious significance, plants that are used in ceremonies, plants that are believed to have special spiritual powers. This is Tulsi. Tulsi is a sacred plant in uh, South Asia and across the Hindu cultures. It's sacred in the Hindu faith and in many Hindu households every morning a puja, a prayer is offered by a Tulsi plant that's kept at the center of the house. You'll see a short video on that. It's a plant known in English as holy basil. It's not the same as basil that you cook with, but you can indeed, of course, cook with holy basil. And of course, across Micronesia, this plant has medicinal uses. But it is a plant that has religious significance, that has a religious meaning and a sacred blessing that it brings to Hindu families in India. It is considered a very special plant. There are a number of different varieties of uh, holy basil, and uh, it's one of our sacred plants that we find here on Pompeii. Another plant that is considered in some cultures to be sacred, to have special significance for blessing, is this one here. It puts out leaves and flowers and then the leaves die back, as you can see here. This particular plant is known uh, in India as Haldi. It also comes from South Asia. You might not recognize it until you see Haldi. Curcuma longa, otherwise known as turmeric. Turmeric ginger. This, of course, is used also across Micronesia and is known to be important medicinally. But in India, it's also used as a way to bless a married couple. There's a special ceremony ahead of a wedding where the married couple have uh, turmeric applied to their skin as a way of blessing them ahead of their marriage. It's a very important part of uh, the custom and culture. Both the bride and groom have haldi, as it's called there, you applied to their skin for blessing the marriage and ensuring that it will be a healthy, long marriage. So its use is, in that case, ceremonial. It's being used in a sacred sense. It's not being used to cure the married couple of anything in particular. It's being used in a religious connotation. And Haldi, along with the Tulsi we saw earlier, are very important plants in terms of the practices of the faithful in India. So the, we're talking here about their ceremonial and sacred use and meaning, not their healing use or their food use, but their use as a, a plant that is believed to be imbued with special spiritual powers that extend into the lives of the married couple. And so, this uh, is a rather beautiful ginger has special spiritual significance as well as being an important ingredient in uh, a number of medicinal and food uses. It has a spiritual meaning and use as well. For Buddhists, the lotus is a sacred symbol, a 
symbol of the purity of the enlightened mind. The lotus plant grows only in muddy, swampy places, places that are, if you will, dirty. And yet the leaves and the flowers sit up out of the mud, out of the water, and are clean. The beauty of the lotus and its sitting above the mud is a symbol of being able to be a beautiful flower in life, even though you're rooted in the mud of samsara, the suffering, as the word samsara means suffering, the suffering of life. Your, the world around you can be a muddy mess, but you can be a beautiful flower growing up out of the mud, untouched by the mud, unsullied by the mud. That is the symbol, the religious sacred symbolism of the lotus. In fact, as Buddhists are heard to say, no mud, no lotus. You cannot be a lotus without there being mud. That is the sacred symbolism inherent in the lotus flower. Chocolate. This is cacao. Inside is a chocolate bean. Chocolate was and is a sacred plant with a special meaning for the people of Central America. Many foods that we prize today and drinks that we prize today were originally sacred plants for a culture somewhere, someplace. One of the videos coming up will introduce you to the sacred side of chocolate. Chocolate is a sacred plant as well and has, was held in a special reverence by the ancient peoples of Central America. The videos that follow will introduce you to these sacred plants, but many plants have a history of being sacred, special, as being seen as bringing blessings into our lives.